Imagine for a moment that you've got a home with a rodent problem. So you devise a fancy system to catch uh, the rodents before they can do any damage. And I know you're saying to yourself, Chris, why not just get a door? And I know, I know, just go with me on this. So let's say the system works pretty well. Uh, and from time to time, you'll come home and you'll find, say, a mouse or a squirrel has been caught by the system. Um, but let's say one day that you are to come home and you discover the system has detained a polar bear. Now that the system worked is probably now not the first thing on your mind. Uh, something, and probably many somethings, have had to gone terribly wrong for this to be the case. And what those things are, you know, bear investigating, right? So, you know, where did this thing come from? How did it get in? Are there more on the way? And more importantly, how do I safely get rid of this thing? I hear they're like Coca-Cola. So how does any of this apply to cybersecurity? Uh, well, unfortunately, I've been involved in more than one breach uh, where the victim's anti-malware solution, so the animal catcher in our analogy, caught the cyber equivalent of a polar bear in their kitchen, and the organization's lack of response resulted in them getting cyber mauled. The reality is that for every organization, sooner or later, a threat will make it through even the best preventative defenses. So protecting your organization with detection and response capabilities is crucial to staying resilient against cyber security threats. But it's simply not enough to acquire security tools, even good ones, uh, without the experience and the expertise to understand what they are telling you in context. So let's go back to our polar bear. Our hypothetical animal catching system worked on both the mouse and the polar bear. Um, but in context, the presence of one of these animals points to a larger problem. So this same context applies in cybersecurity detection and response. Say an endpoint security tool like an EDR flags two suspicious files and cleans or quarantines them. Um, but one of these files is detected as something called Jolly Wallet, and the other is detected as something called Cobalt Strike. So Although the initial action was the same, the EDR uh, stopped the program, Jolly Wallet is just an annoying adware package that's bundled with some software downloads. Um, Cobalt Strike, on the other hand, is a powerful offensive hacking tool specifically designed to compromise computer systems. And its presence, its very presence, points to the likely possibility that we've got a cyber criminal active in our environment, actively running code, and our security tool just happened to catch one of the many attacks they're likely carrying out right now. In other words, the adware is the mouse, where the offensive attack tool is the polar bear. So understanding the difference in context is crucial to staying safe. This does require the experience and expertise to understand what our detection response tools are telling us in context. Um, you know, too many cyber breaches uh, share the common failure that the people responsible for administering the endpoint detection system um, took no additional action on an alert that came in because the system told them it had been cleaned or, or quarantined and that uh, led them to not really investigate any deeper into the potential cause. So this is where the power of a security operations center, or SOC, really shines. Uh, not only does it provide 24 by seven monitoring, but does so with trained cybersecurity analysts. Now an analyst, when they see an alert for say a cobalt strike or something similar to that, um, they're not going to just say, oh, well, you know, the system told us it, it killed the process or cleaned the file, so we're good there. No, they're going to understand in context that because we are dealing with something that is like a threat level of a polar bear in our environment, that we need to launch a massive detection and response action to make sure that this doesn't lead to a larger cybersecurity breach. So if you're interested in having your business protected 24 by 7 coverage from dedicated cybersecurity analysts and much more, get in contact with CISO Global today to get started.